Hi, this is a video that's uh, going to help you log on to your Microsoft Teams class. It's pretty easy, so please don't panic. Now, hopefully uh, you've had some experience at using some sort of video conferencing. Microsoft Teams is very similar to that. Maybe you've used FaceTime or WhatsApp. You could have used Facebook Messenger or Zoom or even House Party. Essentially, all you have to do is set up a laptop with a video camera and a speaker or a microphone uh, connected to it. Here at University of Wales, we use Microsoft Teams to do all of our video conferencing. Now, don't worry, you don't need to install anything. It's actually all available to you through the web browser. I'm going to show you next exactly how to log on. I'm going to get an email from the school telling you that you've been entered into what's called a Microsoft team. We have a different Microsoft team for every class that exists at the school. The example I've got on here shows the email that you'll be expecting. It will simply say you have been added to a, cl a class team in Microsoft Teams. Now this is only for information, there's literally nothing that you need to do with that. Now when the class has, has been formed, uh, you will start to get emails to, uh, to ask you to RSVP. RSVP means uh, to responde s'il vous plaît. Essentially what it means is that you're being given an invite to attend class. If you click on the email that you received like this, it's going to give you information that suggests what time the class is, like that for you now uh, and it's going to tell you what the class is you might also have some information from your lecturer that says you know, broadly what the uh, lesson is going to be about so in this particular case we're pretending that we're having a business management fundamentals class now when you receive this email it's only polite to send a response uh, just to say that you are going to attend. Now these buttons upon the, the top right hand screen where I am I'm now circulating the mouse has a tick, a question mark or a cross. If you click the tick it means that you're definitely going to attend. Uh, if you tick the cross then it means that you're definitely not going to attend. So I'm going to click the attend button now. Now upon pressing that tick button, it sends to the lecturer that you are definitely going to attend the class. Within a few minutes to go of the, uh, the class starting, you will find that when you're in Microsoft Outlook that a button appears uh, on screen to remind you that a, a class is due. When you click on this button, you'll get this screen. Now this reminds you broadly what uh, the class is all about uh, and gives you the option to join the meeting. Now there's two buttons that I want to bring to your attention. First one is this one here, the big blue button. There's also a, meet, uh, a join Microsoft Meetings link button. Sometimes you get the emails sent to you that just have this button. Sometimes you get with this big blue button. On this occasion I'm going to use the big blue button. After you press the blue button, you're going to get to a screen that looks like this. Now for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to show you how to load the web version of the app. To join on the web version of the app, if you see the button that I'm circulating now called Join on the Web, all you have to do now is click that. When the class is ready to start, uh, you should uh, be able to press the Join Now button. So after a while, you'll be able to join the class and you'll see something that looks a bit like this. The lecturer may be delivering a PowerPoint slide and all of your colleagues' faces will appear along the bottom where I'm circulating the mouse now. Well done. That's all it takes to log on to a Microsoft Team class. See you soon.